Hello, Booski. I just came home and I bought just a few stuff. Good stuff. Really good stuff. So, very exciting. Yes, and you are hungry. I will feed you now. Yeah. And welcome home to you. Yes, and to me. Yes. Hello, hello. I love you. Yes, I love you too, Booski. I will hug you now. See you later. Halloween shopping is the plan of this video, yes. And so I finally it got together to try um, making a video about how or where or what to shop in Denmark when it's Halloween. And I have not been at all at all the places, I've only been at a few places because time just ran by and it's already past Halloween by now. Um, but I did some late uh, Halloween shopping yesterday, the day after Halloween, um, and I actually found a lot of stuff. Um, but I will show you a few places where I have been. Um, and it's not totally great, whatever you can find, but there are some good pieces in between all the stuff that is worth mentioning. Yes. So, let me just show you what is out there. This, I believe, was in Vida BR, and as you can see, it's a lot of plastic decor and everything. So it's not like for continuous use, it's like only for the season for a fun uh, children party and stuff. But it was good stuff, but just not for me, really. But this one was just so fun and it was a very nice housewarming gift for a friend. And here you see more from Fedabea and the big skellies down there. They were actually quite nice, but again... I just didn't have the time, but the black one I would actually like to have for my terrace, yes. And this I believe was in Vertex and they also had a few stuff, um, mostly for like making scary terrace or whatever you want to do, like outside for your house and then also for uh, costumes. Um, but I, they really lacked like the home decor I could not find and that was what I was going for this year. So I didn't buy any here. This was the only home decor they had. And here is the first flying tiger. And there is a very nice skelly. And this one was also good looking. Um, a little bit interesting. And this bat, it spoke a little bit to me, and it was very cute, so it made a little dance. Here is more stuff from the first flying tiger, and those big pumpkins actually looked quite nice, but they were just not what I was looking for for my home. And these were also very nice, it's hard plastic, so you can reuse them. Uh, but I just didn't know what I should use them for, so I didn't get them. And this was just a little bit cute. <laughs> and those pumpkin mugs! Oh, I had to like see them up close. I really liked them. I really did. And they also had a few skellies, but I didn't get any. And this is the last part of the first flying tiger, and it was actually very exciting. There were those candles, look at them, like oh my. And now this is the second uh, flying tiger, so that's why you see some similar things to the first one. Oh, those bags, yes. Um, a lot of ghosts and much more home decor. I like that. I don't think this was as much visited as the first one. Um, there were not at all as many people in it either. So I think that's why they had so much more Halloween stuff left. Um, but that was nice for me because then I had the chance to actually 
find some more stuff than I already had. Um, because they had a lot of stuff that they didn't have in the first one. So that was just nice for me. So here is the stuff that I bought. Oh. And let me start by telling that this year I was actually planned or planning to buy stuff online from Flying Tiger Copenhagen. Um, it's a big shop in Denmark um, with cheap small stuff like home decor and everything you need. So it's nice. It can be nice some of the stuff and some of the stuff is like really cheaply looking. So, but you need to find the good stuff in between and that's fun. And I know that it, they have like um, some cranium glasses um, for drinking and uh, water bottles. And the water bottle they had online this year and I wanted to buy it uh, because I had one that I bought from like five years ago. And I have tra been trying to buy it ever since to get like more than only that one. And I only have two of the glasses and I wanted more of those. But I couldn't find any of the glasses online, but I found the bottle. So I bought four online like two weeks ago. But unfortunately, my order was cancelled because they were out of stock. So they sell out each year very, very fast. And then um, yesterday was the day after Halloween and uh, also Friday. So after work, I just had to take a trip fast to uh, um, Aarhus so that I could go shopping in Flying Tiger and find some Halloween stuff and hopefully find like this glass bottle. Um, but as you saw, I could not find the glass bottle. It was sold out. And I also asked the workers there um, and it was sold out there. But luckily I have a friend in Violet and she shopped in Flying Tiger late, uh, late last night as well. And um, she actually found three for me, so she bought them for me, and I'm so happy and because I just wanted them. <laughs> and now I have three more, so that's very nice. Um, I can show you uh, the bottle. I will find it. This bottle. This is the one that my friend found for me um, in Bailu. And this is the one that I bought five years ago. And I don't yet have the three bottles, but I will on Sunday when I see her. Um, so this is the old one, but the three new ones are completely the same to this. Yes, it's nice. <laughs> but this is what else I found from what you saw. Um, so let me just get through it. I will take one bag at a time. This bag I did not buy yesterday. This is a Death Star bag. It's a very good band, industrial band. Check it out if you don't know them. It's very good. But of course I needed this all amazing plushie. Ah, it's a bad, of course. And it's so soft, so soft. And it's gonna roam freely in the house. I think sometimes it will be here in the library, other times in the hallway where the big couch is at the moment, and maybe sometimes in the bed. Mm. Because I just like pillows and it's so cute. Mm. Yes, and soft. That's a good one. Very good find. And then, so this was the first shop that I entered. And I did not film, I did not film finding this because it was like just at the, um, one when I was on the way out, I found this. Um, but it was in the section that was like uh, here today, gone tomorrow. So very cheap as well. And I need like coasters for my candles. I just made like a video with or a short with a lot of candles in the library and I did not have coasters for all of them and I have now 
a lot of candle wax everywhere, so I need more of these. And this was just so cute, I can use it all year round, I think, because I like leaves and it's green. And for me, it is still fall-ish, even though it's green, just because it's a leaf, I like leaves, but I can also use it in summer, in spring, and in, like, for the holidays, in December, I can also use this. So, I will use it all the year round. Yes, I will. Just because I like leaves. <laughs> As I said. But it's very cute. I have an obsession <laughs> with candles. Um, and I told myself not to buy candles yesterday because I make my own, most of my candles I make, um, from scrap wax uh, that I get from friends or family or <laughs> from the wax that I have myself. Um, so, and I do that. Every winter I make candles, so... And I actually, like, soon need to make more candles because I have already, like, burned a lot of my candles <laughs> once again. <laughs> um, oh well, it's an evil spiral, so that's why I always want to buy more candles. Um, but I found this one. It's a cranium with a snake. So, a skull with a snake around it, and I had to have it, um, because of the snake, yeah, it's nice, and I should actually try and get it out, <laughs> how not to love this, <laughs> like look at it. But I did not buy any more candles than that. Only that one. <laughs> Only one, not two. One. Um, if I remember correctly, and I think I do. And I'm very proud of that. Um, but I just I just needed that because I ha I have a skull mold to make like skull candles myself. And the one I have is like with a skull with lots of skulls on. I actually have a candle here. So if I find like plain skull candles, I don't need to buy them because I can make some of my own that is a little bit more interesting that I like. So, but because it had the snake, it was just like so extra nice. Um, but then I also like I needed some decor. The decor that I was like going for is stuff that does not look too cheesy or cheap because I don't want my home to feel like um, a costume, like just like I don't want my wardrobe to look like custom and I don't like my home to feel like a cheap custom that's just like, oh, this is just like uh, a decoration for a cheap holiday or something like that. I want it to look like scary. Halloween every day because I use the decoration all year round but this time actually I wanted some stuff also for just the Halloween season. I don't really have anything for the indoors to make the season special indoors. Not anything else, I'm just putting out all of my candles and I do that like every time I want to so that's not really special Halloween for me even though I really love it at Halloween as well but so I needed that and this little guy really like did that for me because look at the colors like I I I like chrome and and purple and green and blue and this has all of it and I can move him around so I can make him sit in many possibilities or many settings. And now he's dancing. <laughs> um, but I needed it. Um, and maybe he will be sitting around just for a little bit because I'm not ready to take my Halloween decor down just yet not outside either, even though I should be doing that. Um, but I think I maybe will this weekend or the next week, because I will have guests this weekend, so I don't think I will have time for that, actually. So I think it will be up for this weekend, and then I will take it down next week, yes. So 
the sky will be around just for a few days and then to the basement he goes for next year. Yes. <coughs> but then back to some home decor that will stay and be used all year round. This is only the top. But you can guess what it is. It's for a pumpkin. A glass pumpkin. But not just a glass pumpkin. Like this. Oh, this is the one. It's like a dispenser thingy for drinks. And I love it so much. Like, I'm gonna use this. I would love for them to like also have this just as a canister or what you would call it for cookies or flour or sugar, whatever. I would have loved that as well. I would have definitely bought it as well for that. But I have like a five liter uh, skull dispenser for drinks and I use that whenever I have a party, but like five liters is a lot. So I am not using it for like small gatherings friends and that's a shame because i like to use stuff like this so now <coughs> if it's just like summer day out on the terrace or just a summer day inside where i would like a refreshing drink or um if i have a small gathering of friends or family or something we can also have delicious freshness drinks in this without it being five liters <laughs> um so that's nice. That's really, really nice. I like the pop coat. And obviously, I need to take this out and put it on the outside. It was just like for protection wise that it, they put it inside. But it's nice. I like it a lot. And then back to some more Halloween decor. I bought this one. It's like a sculpture, it cannot move, um, but it's just a really sweet sculpture. Like this. And again, it's just perfect for whenever I want like that extra Halloween feeling in my house or in my home. It's not house, it's an apartment I live in. <laughs> but sorry, I say house all the time. <laughs> um, but this is just that it will give me that extra feeling of like it's spooky season, yes, because I have like some extra stuff that I bring forward uh, for Halloween. So that's nice. I really like it. I find it very cute. Yeah, so I like it. And it's like, I think it's made of resin. Um, it's not like plastic, plastic, it's, it's resin, I think. Yeah. I have this one. It's a mug! And I don't have that many mugs, so... And my mugs, I like to be like all weird kinds of quirky, gothic, fun vibes. Um, so that's why I just needed this one because it's a pumpkin with a Halloween face. And of course, I will be using this all year round as well, because every day is Halloween in my house or in my home. And I like it. I like the feel of it as well. And the size is like just right for me for a cup of iced coffee, because the only coffee I drink at the moment is iced coffee. It's the only thing that I've like learned to drink. And I'm sorry, I usually am a chocolate girl, like all chocolate. But at the moment, also iced coffee. Yes. So this will be perfect. Mm. It's nice. <laughs> and then this tote bag, because I always, I use tote bags all the time for, like I have it as my bag, because my bags I bought like a few years ago from Killstar, they are ruined after a year. Um, they are ruined. So, I, I use tote bags as my personal bag from going to work, to friends and everywhere. So I always need like bags and fun bags that are like more matching my outfits, it's nice. So of course I needed this, it says Halloween Queen. It's fun and quirky, I like it. 
and then to the next flying tiger um, because I was still hunting down um, that specific bottle. <laughs> But I found some other stuff. <laughs> like, because I had only really planned for going for that bottle, but then I just found all of the other pieces that I was just like... I kind of have to do this now, because or else I will also be like in five years looking for this stuff again, and I'm not going into that deal again. <laughs> no, 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 I've learned from my mistakes. Buy it when you see it, because or else it will just be uh, be haunting you. <laughs> yeah. And I bought this one! And I don't like particularly the kind of skull this is, like the design of it. It's a little bit off for me. Um, but I love it because of the colors. The colors make it for me. Like, I love this, these colors and the chrome, and it speaks to my cyber goth heart, okay? <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and my plans for this is having it in the kitchen, because it's not a mug, um, it's a holder for stuff. Um, so I plan to have, like, kitchen utensils in it. Um, because I don't have a holder for that right now, so they are just in the in one of the doors and I could use the space for something else so I would like to have it in this and again I did not film this because it was in the middle of Flying Tiger not together with all the other Halloween stuff so you really need to like look out because in Denmark they put Halloween stuff like just Oh, here's just one part, so it's not all gathered around. You cannot just like think that in some of the stores, <laughs> and I was actually surprised about that. Um, so I actually found some skull glasses. <laughs> yes, and it's pink. But not only that, it has a body or a twin. It has a twin, yes. <laughs> it's so nice. There were more, so I could have bought more, but... I didn't plan my home decor to be pink, so... I was fine with only two cups of these. Um, because already I have um, two that is just clear glass. And I only have two. And I want like all of my drinking glasses to be like skulls because I like that, like my normal everyday drinking glasses. Um, and I actually think these are a little bit bigger than the ones I have now. Um, but it was fine for me to have two pink ones, because I have two regular ones and then two pink ones. And then I have four in total, and that's a better number than only two. Um, but then, like, it's like a matching set, or if I have friend doors that don't want pink, I have regular ones and I can just take the pink one. But it's not all pink, so I like that. And I'm not I am not having like the drawers and the top um for the other ones, um because at the moment I got them, I put them in the dishwasher, I think, and Soon after that, um, it rusted away, the top here. So I don't have that anymore for those, and I don't really need it for what I use them for. But this time I will definitely be saving these tops for whenever I want to like make a smoothie or a milkshake or something. And when I think it would be fun to use these, then I can bring them out and use them. But I will definitely hand wash these tops. No, they are not for the dishwasher, no. I cannot recommend doing that. <laughs> um, but I am so happy I found it. Yes! Again, I find this good home decor because it's not plastic. Only the top there, the store, and uh, this is uh, some kind of metal. But this is glass. 
and I like it. Then, this I also bought in that shop. And they didn't have this, um, this tote bag in the first one, in the first flying tiger. So I was like, oh, it was last year they had uh, the ghost ones. I wanted a ghost tote bag, but I didn't get one last year. So I was just like, okay, then I buy the Halloween one. And then the next one shop, they had both. And I was just like, oh, yes, so I also need to get this. <laughs> Because I like tote bags, as I just said. I also use them for shopping, like my groceries and stuff. And it's nice to have more because some of the ones I have now are very used. And whenever I put them in the washer, I also have other ones to use. So that's also good. Because sometimes they need to have a wash, you know. Um, and I'm very happy because it's ghosts and I don't, I, I like it. It's a little bit quirky, but I like that in my tote bags. So I, I like it, it's cute. And the last thing, I was very surprised because I didn't find this stuff. Like they had a lot of ghost stuff for candles and such in the store, the second store. And I didn't find all of those stuff online when I looked there. So I was very surprised finding it. And they had white ones, both cups and for candles stuff, both like small LED candle stuff and also big ones for um, real candles. And this is one of the bigger ones. But it's lilac. I love that. It's lilac. Oh, and it's glazed. The white one was not glazed. And I like the glazed look um, and feeling. And it's so nice. And then here in the back you put the candle in. And I, I like lilac. I also have a lot of lilac clothes. And um, my hallway is green and lilac. So of course this is going to stay in the hallway. Yes, I will need to find the spot because maybe in maybe in the window. Maybe it needs to be in the window because I don't really have like furniture to put stuff in the hallway. Hmm. So in the window it will stay, I think. But it will stay there or in the kitchen. Yeah, because the kitchen is like colorless. It's like black and white almost only. So it could also be in the kitchen. But I like it a lot. It's so cute. So, so cute. Yes. And for me, I think this is going to be one that is only for Halloween. I think. I don't know yet. I will take that decision next week when I'm taking down all the Halloween stuff. <laughs> um, yeah. But for now it's gonna stay. I like it a lot. Mm. So, thank you so much for seeing whatever I found. I hope to see you next time. Bye!